Hello there, happy campers and all you Yahoo. Oh, sorry, I was quoting um, Major League. Wrong topic. We're on to camping and RVing. My name is Mark Hepp. This is campgroundviews.com. And in this video, we're going to show you how to utilize the search engine to find campgrounds and RV parks and also to utilize the virtual tours and your account. You need to be a member to have an account, but you don't need to be a member to use the tools. Kind of cool. All right, so we're going to do two versions here in one video. So the first version is the really fast version, you know, the short, short version, like uh, they would have said in Spaceballs. I'm going to show my age here. Um, so let me get, get my camera out of the way and show you that short, short version. So Campground Views is a search engine. All you have to do is enter your location that you want to go searching for campgrounds or RV parks in, hit search, and you'll get a, a results page. There are filters here. You can change them to find a whole bunch of different filters that you like. You can even enter keywords to filter down. You can change your location search. So you want to search a tighter radius or a wider radius. Oh, cool, cool thing here. So you notice that only one came up in Yellowstone. That's because the next closest campground is 20 miles away from the center of Yellowstone. Interesting, huh? So if you go 50 miles, you'll get some of those other ones coming up there, all right? So that's how that works. You can scroll down, click on a campground. It'll pull up information that we have about that campground. In the case of this one, there is a virtual tour of it. If you want to have access to that, that means you need to be a member. If you're not a member, you click here to get access. Or if you're a member, you click, if you are a member, you click here and log in. You can log in with your username and password that you created when you, you set up your account. And you have to do a little math problem there. We apologize about that, but um, it was just a necessary step because of the amount of spam that's out there. If you use your back button, to get back to the page that you were on before you logged in, you can hit refresh. And when you do, the virtual tour will now load. So that was our quick, quick version to get to the virtual tours. Now let's dive a little bit longer. So if all you got this now, you can go do it. But for everybody else, let's hang on here a second. When the virtual tour loads, you'll see that there's a play button. Before you hit play, let me show you how this works. It's just like Google Street View, except it's reverse. Instead of grabbing the screen and dragging, you click the screen and you point where you want to see up, down, left, right, all around. So you can actually see around. And then you'll see that there's a play button. You hit play and you can do the same thing as you're moving. Now it's like driving through that campground. But unlike driving through the campground, there's these little blue things floating in the air. If they're floating in the air when you're actually driving through the campground, you got a problem. But on this virtual tour, you'll see them and you'll see that when I clicked on it, it gives me information about the site I'm looking at. If I click visit, it'll take me right into the underlying search engine or reservation engine, in this case, recreation.gov, straight to that site, site 61, which is the one we we're looking at, and allows me to book it if it's available. In the case, Yellowstone is not available right now because it is getting into winter. Actually, I think this campground's closed already. Yes, there's no booking available right now. In the season, if the sites are available, if you would set your dates here that you wanted to stay, this icon will actually change green to red if that site's available. You can blow up this map. You can open up this map. We shouldn't say blow up. This is gonna be on YouTube. They might ban this photo. So you can open up this map and when you do, you'll see an overhead view of where the camera traveled through that campground. You can click on any one of these sites and you'll jump to that. Or if you know, especially recreation.gov parks like this, if you know like, hey, I've only, I can only book site 52, you can use the search bar, type in site 52 and jump straight to site 52 in the search engine. All right, so that's how to utilize the virtual tours. They're very useful. And the quickest way then, the big question that people have is, well, how do I know which ones have virtual tours? Well, let me go back over here to our search results page. And we've tried to make it pretty obvious. The ones with the blue icon with the camera on it, those have virtual tours. The ones with the green icons don't have virtual tours, but they do have good information. So we may have YouTube videos of these parks. Looks like on this one we do. We probably have photos of that campground. We have over tens of thousands of photos and we have descriptions. So even if we don't have the virtual tours, we do have amazing information about campgrounds and RV parks. All right, so that's how you utilize the search results and then the virtual tours. Some folks like a bigger view and we've got this button up here in the main menu here, or if you're on the home page, it's in the sub menu, which will load right here. You drop this down and click a uh, big map. When you do uh, count to 10, it takes a little bit of time for this to load. And the reason why is it is currently pulling all of the campgrounds and RV parks that we have listed, that we have tracked into one gigantic map. You'll see it once it loads, there's a lot of them. We have over 16,000 campgrounds that you can search, filter, and find. 
and it is a Google Maps. So all you have to do is zoom in on this map, and at a certain level, those little those red circles will change to icons. And once you get down to the icons, same thing here. The ones in blue we have virtual tours of. The ones in green we do not. So you can start clicking on the ones with virtual tours, go check them out, or click on the ones with green and get more information about those campgrounds too. This is a nice tool if you're traveling and you're kind of getting a feel for what's out there. It's actually crazy when you look at it and you realize how many campgrounds there are and what an unbelievable task it is to manage this information. So uh, kudos to the team over at Campground Views for making this happen. Oh yeah, that was us. So anyways, hope you find use in this site. If you have any questions, feel free to re reach out to us. This has been a how-to on how to utilize Campground Views and the Campground Virtual Tours. Thank you.